For the past month, we have been testing out the Leisure Travel Vans Wonder RTB. RTB stands for Rear Twin Beds, and we have driven this rig from Manitoba, Canada to Michigan, down to Florida, and now out west through Texas. So what do we think of it? Our review of the Wonder is coming up. In our previous video, we did a full review of the Ford Transit chassis, which the Wonder is built upon. You can click the link above and see it. Now, we also did a full walkthrough of the Wonder at the factory with Dean from Leisure Travel Vans, and you can see that by clicking the link above. In this video, we're going to share what we like and don't like about the Wonder. And for me, my biggest reservation was about the size. This is unofficially known in the industry as a B plus. Actually, officially, it's a class C, but it gets that B plus nickname because it does not have the traditional cab hangover part that you find on most class C's. It has a wheelbase of 178 inches. Now height, it's 10 feet high, lengthwise 24.9, those dimensions are exactly the same as we had on our previous extended length Sprinter. Where it is bigger is right here. See where the motor home comes out about an extra five inches on both sides from the cab. So approximately 10 inches wider than what I'm used to driving. But so far, it hasn't bothered me as much as I thought it would. Let's start with the exterior. Now, remember, you can see the full details in the walkthrough video we did at the factory with Dean. But in this video, we want to talk about our experience with these various features. Let's start right here with the optional generator. It's located in a storage compartment right here. It is a 3.6 kilowatt Onan generator, and this one is powered by LP gas. Now it's been a long time since we had a standalone generator like this. In fact, the last one was on a used 2006 Sprinter that we used to own, and it was really noisy. So I was a little bit apprehensive about how this one would be. Well, let me go inside and show you how it works and um, just how noisy it really is. Now it's operated by a tablet-like multiplex control panel right here. Well, you can hear it, it's, it's noisy, but it is not nearly as noisy as I remember the one in our 2006 Sprinter being. One thing I really like about this a lot is that you can program it to automatically come on whenever the house batteries uh, get too low. Whenever the, the voltage is too low, it will start up and recharge those batteries. That's a good feature. So here we are outside and you can hear how loud it is outside. I mean, you certainly can hear it, but uh, it, I've heard much worse. And that leads me to two major disappointments we have with the Wonder. The first is the house batteries. They're lead acid batteries. They're not lithium. They aren't even AGM batteries, which are pretty much standard in the industry among comparably priced models. This is just not enough in our view. We really think that should be upgraded. But right now, Leisure Travel Vans doesn't even offer that as an option. The second major inadequacy is the inverter. It's just a thousand watts. That means that if you're not plugged into shore power and you want to use the microwave, you got to run the generator. If you want to use the air conditioner and there's no shore power, you got to run the generator. If Jennifer wants to use her hair dryer and we're not plugged in at a campsite, you got to run the generator. A thousand watts just doesn't cut it in our view and it really should have 2,000 
or even 3,000 watts for the inverter. Okay, now to the stuff that we really like. Let's go up on the roof. Before we pull this out of the factory, I, I brought a ladder around and went up there with the camera to show you something up top that I think is really good. All right, I'm up on a ladder. I gotta show you the roof. This is solar, uh, 400 watts of solar, and also this uh, really nice WineGuard 2.0 connect system. That's a Wi-Fi booster and a 4G LTE network antenna as well. The big claim to fame for the wonder is this. This is known as the garage. Oh, by the way, look how that just stays up there. You don't have to worry about it falling down and hitting the head. I mean, this is massive. This is massive. But they call it the garage because what do you keep there? Well, you keep your bicycles. Now, I uh, am only testing this unit. We're only using it for three or four weeks. So I did not bring our bicycles because we're returning this uh, in Salt Lake City and we're gonna be picking up a different rig to try. But you can put two bikes on here and then of course it will go right back in there as far as you want. It is so nice in terms of storage. Look at that. It's passed through storage all the way on the other side. And uh, I've got some chairs in here, but I can't even begin to touch this in terms of storage. The most storage space I've ever seen on a class C or a class B motorhome. And look at this as a little bonus. This is a table. It stores flat against the back wall of the garage. And then you can easily attach it to these mounting points on the side of the RV you have a great table for barbecuing or for picnics. On the driver's side are all your hookups. And you got all the standard stuff here. There's a propane fill right over here. Uh, you also have a nice little touch. This is the propane switch, so you can turn it on or off if you're going through a tunnel or someplace where the propane has to be off. Very simple to turn it off. Uh, you also have a water pump, which is very nice to have outside if you're going to be using the outdoor shower or you want to make sure the pump is on. Uh, this is the outdoor shower, hot and cold water, and uh, all your controls for the, um, you know, the, the pipes and the plumbing system. So whether you're filling with city water or using the fresh water tank, all easily accessible right here. This is really nice. There is a macerator system right here, and right below it is a three inch gravity dump. So you both have a macerator hose, and it'll switch there, it'll turn on and macerate the waste that's coming out, the black hose, uh, the black tank. Uh, there's another macerator inside. That one is attached to the toilet. So that macerator grinds up stuff in the toilet and then this grinds it up one more time as, it, as you're dumping it. That's a handy feature. And if that should break or if you're hooked up for a long time at a campsite and you want to have that three inch gravity always hooked up to the drain in the campsite, that's right there and you can do that. Nice touches, all easy to get to. This is the hot water heater. It is the Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus, and what it provides is instant hot water to all of the faucets inside the coach, even the hot water in the shower outside. Turn that on, turn on the hot water faucet, and it is instantly warm. So it saves you water usage because you don't have to have that water run for a long time before it warms up. This is instantly warm. Now it's time to go inside with Jennifer and show you some of the inside features, but before we do that, we thought we'd give you just a little slice of what it was like that very first night and first morning that we camped in the Wonder. Our first night in uh, Kentucky, somewhere between Louisville and Bowling Green off I-65, and we are in a Cracker Barrel parking lot, which is one of our favorites. We're just going to close up our windows here. Or, our drapes and make it a little private and uh, we're good to go. This is our first night sleeping in the Wonder and this is oh incredibly easy to have the beds made up and uh, it's just such a piece of cake it's not nearly the work. Okay good morning it's the uh, first morning we spent a night in it I just, I just shut that door here so Jennifer's back there sleeping and I'm gonna make some coffee and do a little bit of work Bo's with me out here.
start the day. I really like the way I can make a comfortable work area with this table. I'm an early riser. I try to get my writing and video editing out of the way before we start driving. In the wonder, with the shower door that can also be used as a room divider, I make my coffee, I do my work in the morning, and I don't disturb Jennifer. We were soon enough back on I-65, heading south and looking for signs of spring. All right, we said we were searching for spring and we found it. And the way we uh, judge that spring has come is that the grass is starting to green up and we see... We saw daffodils. Blooming flowers. And we are 12 miles north of the Alabama line on I-65 in uh, Tennessee. And uh, just a minute ago, you saw them. I didn't see them, so I'm I saw you. lots of daffodils, and the trees are certainly budding. Yep, the trees have been budding for 100 miles or so. So we count flowers, and green grass, springtime. Temperature outside here is 63 degrees right now, and uh, we left. It was pretty darn cold. So spring is uh, the bottom of Tennessee in uh, northern Alabama. That's where it officially begins, and I can't wait to get warm. I think Bo is already panting. Look oh, Bo is already too hot. He's <laughs> shedding like crazy. Yeah, he is shedding. We're just covered with dog hair. Uh, it's going to be fine, right, Bo? Bo says, where's the snow? Six hours later, we were pulling into a campground in Florida, and the sun was cranking. Ah, that beautiful Florida sunshine beaming down on the 400 watts of solar panels up on the roof of the Wonder. What does that mean in terms of how much power is that putting in? Well, let's go inside. We've got a, a monitor here and it will tell us what we've got going in. And uh, if you look right now, you can see we're putting in 14.9 volts. That's pretty good. Here's the uh, solar panel controller up here. And uh, same thing there, 14.9. That's, that's pretty outstanding. All that power going into the batteries, topping it off. First thing we did when we hit Florida is de-winterize. Okay, so we have uh, pretty much all the pink stuff out of there now. A little bit coming, so I'm just going to let this run for a couple of minutes. And now we have, uh, uh, with that antifreeze out, at least this faucet's right. We've got to now do the toilet, and we got to do the shower, and we got to do the bathroom sink. And then don't forget the outside shower as well. Okay, pink stuff. Got to get that all out. Wait until it becomes clear. That's done. Gotta change some valves again, turn them back so we can fill the fresh water tank. I always love it when we do winter eyes. It's a symbol of the end of winter and the beginning of spring and new beginning. So let me show you some of the features of the Wonders interior. Remember, we've already done a complete walkthrough video with Dean at the factory. So I'm just going to show you the highlights of our experience. The storage inside the Wonder is as immense as the storage outside. Let's start beneath the rear twin beds. Hanging clothes go here. It is several feet deep and there's plenty of room for all sorts of other things under here. It's the same on the other side, too. There are also overhead cabinets and cubby holes for things like glasses and cell phones with USB and power connections handily located. These are real mattresses, and the standard setup 
is as two twin beds. By putting this extension down, you can make it into a double bed, nice and cozy. Here's something that you need to get used to. There are two steps to get back to where the beds are. I can't stand upright because of the air conditioning unit and the height of the ceiling. I'm 5'7", and we both have bumped our head a couple of times. Now, you can adjust and get used to this, but one thing, don't forget the middle of the night when you get up, you got to go down two steps. It would be very easy to stumble. The Wonder has a very large bathroom, lots of storage, and a large ceramic toilet. As Mike said when he was showing you the outside, there is a macerator on the toilet, as well as a macerator outside connected to the dump hose. Across from the bathroom is a huge stand-up shower. Handle to help you get in. Oh, the skylight is awesome. Lots of light coming in. The whole ceiling is a skylight. Shower door to pull. And the wooden door of the shower has that nifty feature that Mike showed you after the first time that we went camping in here that you can open this door, you can shut this door if you need two rooms, a little privacy, you want to divide it. That moves us into the galley. The two-door refrigerator freezer is 6.7 cubic feet and works on gas, 12 volts or the 30 amp house connection. I very much like the large pantry, which pulls out from the wall. There are plenty of drawers and cabinets for food storage, pots, pans, and silverware. The kitchen sink is very deep, and there is a two-burner gas stove. This is very nice. You can drop this down and extend your workspace. Perfect when preparing meals. There are two comfy chairs located across from each other and that table Mike uses for his workspace can be made into a dinner table. You can also locate it in the rear if you prefer. Here is one of my major complaints about the Wonder. There are only two seat belts, one for the driver and one for the passenger, so legally you can only take two people in the Wonder, and you'd like to take your grandchildren or another passenger or friend. And the driver's seat does not swivel around. This is the position it's in and it stays in that position. The passenger seat will swivel, but it's a little hard to work and I never could figure out how to get it to turn around. Mike showed you the master control panel. This operates all the lights, the gas heater, the generator, all the major features. There are also lots of other controls located throughout the coach to also turn the lights off and on. There are also two TVs, one in the bedroom, one up front next to the galley. There is also a DVD player and a switcher so you can watch different things on each TV. You know, we drove the Wonder about 4,000 miles. We had it for just about a month and we liked it. We liked it a lot. A couple of things though, uh, for me, is the fact that it only has a 1,000 watt inverter and using those old style lead acid batteries, no AGMs, no lithium, that's a major hit for me. The only thing that bothers me is only having two seat belts because I do like to take somebody with us once in a while. But the Wonder rear twin bed model, it's a definite thumbs up. We're Mike and Jennifer Wendland. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this RV lifestyle channel right here on YouTube. Happy trails.